Thank you so much for staying with us here on iBrand Daybreak. And in with us this morning in the studio is Olua Damilari Igba Yiloye. And she is the CEO lead educator of Akonile de Yoruba. She has so much to tell us this morning. Good morning, Damilari. Thank Good you morning. for joining us. All right. Um, I'm excited to have you here, by the way. You look beautiful in your outfit. Thank you. Thank you. You have so much to tell us, so just please take the floor. Uh, okay, so like she has said, my name is Uluwa Damilari. They meet up with Ah, there's more names. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the lead educator and founder of Akon in Lede Yoruba. Akon in Lede Yoruba is an online language school where we teach different age groups the skills to converse in Yoruba language and also embrace the values that is embedded in the language. Mm. So beyond the language, we have the culture, we have the morals, we have the value. So we are not just about the language alone. We teach more about the values that is embedded in the language. Mm. So Iwa, character, you see. What we have nowadays is not what our parents, you know, had. Yes, mm. they had. So, um, most children, they are not exposed to the values that they need to know. So our school is there to, you know, fit and solve this problem by teaching them the morals that they need to know using Yoruba language as a tool. Is this a physical school or is it online? Our school is online. So we started having a physical and classes before COVID. So when COVID happened, we have to you know, migrate to online. Mm. So we have learners from different parts of the world and they are our focus right they don't have access to the language as much as nigerian children have it here they can learn the language in school but those ones that are not in nigeria they don't have that access so we provide that access for them to learn the language online and other things that's about the language mm, with the way the education system is currently going uh, i would agree with you that you know language education is something that's been pushed to the back uh not just for yoruba for oh, every language. other you know languages in yeah. the country um i'm i'm an Igbo woman and i'm i speak Igbo very well Beautiful. but unfortunately a lot of persons mm -hmm. from my age group down mm -hmm. really don't know how to speak they the language exactly uh, but this is not about this conversation is not about Igbo it's about Yoruba but I'm just agreeing with you you know on a general space how that language learning has really taken the back burner and yeah. it shouldn't be but what has this journey been for you seeing that you know you you are spearheading the whole movement how how has it been okay so when I started then I I had to look for a mentor but then I, I can't find anyone in that space that teaching Yoruba language online mm. so I had to just go into it without any guide or um, blueprints or following someone's step. So I started 2018. Oh, I was wow. teaching online. I was teaching out, uh, teaching out um, content on Instagram, teaching different morals, different uh, proverbs that teaches, you know, different lessons. And that was it. Mm. So when COVID happened, most people that are at home, they're like, oh, give me that. They will say that in Yoruba, for example, mo abo for me. And then the child will be like, what is abo? What is mo? So the child is confused. And they, so they need something to, you know, get the child to understand the language. So mm. somebody, they, they will check online, they will check on Instagram, and then God having it, we are there to solve the problem. And then that's how we started online. Mm. So that physical classes, I saw my neighbor's children and our nine-month-old daughter dead. Oh, I would wow. take them from our house to a physical school somewhere in Ogudu. I rented a space, but I, <laughs> I had to borrow money to get that space. No parents attend, no, no parents brought their, their children right Aww. then that was 2019 but then i did not give up i'm like no this is a solution that we need to accept and mm. embrace even though we are not sure of the the the, the um outcome the outcome thank you for now it is what we will need sooner or later a parent told me that there was this caribbean woman that came to nigeria they're in the u.s and they're supposed to have an interview for a scholarship and then the lady was asking the son what is your name in yoruba what is your favorite food in Yoruba? The boy cannot answer. Wait, the Caribbean woman was speaking Yoruba? She was speaking Yoruba. Oh my and goodness. she was like, if I, I have been in your country and I am not even a Nigerian, not even a Yoruba person, and I can speak your language fluently, I'll watch more you. Mm. I am sorry, you are not fit to get this scholarship. Oh my God. If you cannot, you know, be proud of your own language, you will just be lost in other people's culture. Mm. Do you see? And then the, the woman said, no, I will not give you this scholarship. The boy lost that scholarship just because of that. 
And then one was like, what? Is this real? That was how she just enrolled them into our classes. They are still learning to date. Mm. Yeah. So the value is just that you cannot, they, they look intangible, but it is a big deal for parents that can see to the it's, future. Yeah, really a big deal. Such passion you have, I must give that to you. But these yeah. classes, are they limited to, is there a limited age grade? No, no, no. no. We, we, we accept children from age four to adults. We have taught non Nigerians that you just know our language. Mm. Adults, teenagers, those that want to get married to a Yoruba woman or Yoruba man. Ah. Because, uh, you know, it's just a lot. Social media has so actually helped uh, our online school. Okay. Like, it, it literally um, announced us to the world. Mm. When we have that physical school, few parents know about us and they're never bringing their children. But social media, when they see someone teaching about part of their body in Yoruba, about short, short um, proverbs in Yoruba, they're like, okay, I want my child to learn. In fact, I was a woman, she's in the UK. She said she has been watching me for over a year. But now she can entrust me that she has seen my consistency mm -hmm. and my commitment. That now our children can learn Yoruba language from, from us. Even if we have a physical classes, I am not sure of Nigerian physical classes for now. Mm -hmm. right? And profit-wise, yes, it has been good. Because if not, I would have backed out. In fact, then I walked into a school, I said, I want to start teaching them Yoruba language. That was 2018. They said, they'll pay me 10,000 naira. I said, thank you. For what? To teach Yoruba the whole school. Per hour or day? Or for a month. Wow. So I said, if this is what Yoruba teachers are getting, this is, this is not going to fly. That means other Yoruba language teachers, they are getting this little. And then I have to change this. And trust me, we change the narratives. And our teachers, they are not small. Mm. <laughs> we are not small in the industry. Oh, so it's not only you it's now. It's not only me. We have more than... 10 teachers that are they are working with us oh wow and it's been good trust me our focus is yoruba language mm. and then so when you think about yoruba language according into the yoruba comes to mind home or abroad mm. so 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 the uh, i don't want to mess it up the yoruba, what, yoruba what does it translate to in english yoruba language coach or yoruba language educator anyway oh yeah. okay so uh, the according is the one that teaches that teaches Lede. It is a language. language. And this language you're talking about is Yoruba language. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much. Our time is up. You know, when you're having an interesting conversation, <laughs> time flies. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> so, if we have the program coming up, let me go say that. We have yeah. coming up. Start a record. A re echo order. So, we started five years ago. Someone in Ujudu here. And um, it was a physical event where we come together to celebrate our learners that are learning the language. See, it is not easy to learn the language. That's just the truth. It is not easy. If anyone is learning any language, I am clapping for you. Mm. We are doing well. So every year, December, we come together to just celebrate and appreciate our learners. And also, we showcase Yoruba language, Yoruba um, music, proverbs, and all. So it will be coming up 16th of December by 4 p.m. here in Lagos, Nigeria. And we also have a virtual um, um, attendant. So you can join us online if you can come physically to the Where's city. the venue? Okay. It's at... Uh, Omoli here in Lagos, Nigeria, but we want most of our audience to join us online. You're going to enjoy it. So you're going to dress like this, like wear your Yoruba attire. Come and oh, showcase it's what a you must. Are. Yeah, it oh, is oh, part oh. of the area. You have to showcase your Yoruba language. Mm. Not the beyond the language, let us see it. Mm. Yeah. All right, it is happening uh, this December, the 16th, you yeah, said. Yeah. yeah, here at Omoli in Lagos State. But you are free to join online if you are very interested in the Yoruba culture and the Yoruba language. That's a very good platform for you to learn. Thank you once again Thank for you. coming on the show, uh, Oluwa Damilari. I got it right, yeah? yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Thank it you. is still I brand. They break more conversations. We'll be coming your way after this time out. Stay with us.